Hello, I am Andrew H and today we are checking out 5 abandoned places in Pembrokeshire. Number 5. Rosebush Quarry. Rosebush is a small village located in Mineclockard community. It is around 1 mile northwest from the village. The village was known for its slate quarry and railway in the 19th century. The village didn't actually exist until the quarry opened up and built the houses for the miners. The quarry began work in 1842 and ran until the end of the century. It supplied slate for the Westminster Palace in London. It was also home to a railway line opened up in 1876 and shut down after the Second World War. The quarry has since not been used and there are still mine shafts accessible. Number 4. Harleston House. This is a derelict mansion located one mile south of the town centre of Hopworth West. Harleston House was built by the Harold family in the late 13th century. By the late 17th century, Harleston House became home to one of the most powerful families in the county. It experienced many changes during this period, and the structure of the building completely changed. By the 18th century, the house was under new ownership and was leased out. This ended up in the house falling to disrepair. Number 3. St. Govan's Chapel. St. Govan was a hermit who died in the year 586 and lived in a fissure on the side of a cliff. This cliff is located just off the coast near Boston. The chapel was built in the 14th century in what is now known as St. Govan's Head. There were two rumours about Govan. One was that he was an Irish monk who came to Wales late in life looking for friends and family. The other rumour was that he was on the run from pirates in Ireland and came across to the cave of Hyden. He then never left the cave. Number 2. St John's Church. St John's Church is situated on the south side of the A40 road east of Haverford West. It was built to replace an earlier church one mile further down the road. The church was built in 1848 and designed in a free early English style. The building was abandoned in 1990 due to the building falling apart. Although not a lot of interior remains, what partly survives is the red and yellow tiled floor, designed by an artist of the time from Worcester. Before we announce who gets our number one mark, please subscribe and like this video to show your support for the channel. And also don't forget to comment and let me know your opinions. Number one, Scottsboro House. This is a derelict house with a sad and very dark history. Located on a footpath that runs down along the banks of the estate known as Scottsboro View, it really is a sight to see. It was the home of a high sheriff of the county all the way back in 1610. The site was originally made in the 14th century and was abandoned in 1824. Before it was left behind, it was separated into two halves to house agricultural families. These two families unfortunately caught a severe disease, the disease known as smallpox. Smallpox is an extremely contagious disease and a deadly virus with no cure. These were the last people known to live here. Do you agree with our top 5? Or maybe you wish to explore these places yourself? Let us know in the comments. As always, don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos as well. Make sure you click that notification button to be notified when other videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.